Ladies and gentlemen, episode 10, I am joined by the legend, Ian Streets, stuntman extraordinaire, star. <laughs> My man, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit on the fiery side. It's a good thing because we was going to do this on Friday and then technical yes. issues inhibited that. And I was all jacked up on like Korean fried chicken and I was angry, but I'm all right. Okay. I was, I was, I'm going to start this, yeah? Yep. Somebody that I know, okay? Yes. I don't know them like that well. They have my mobile number. That's how well right. they know me. That, you right. know, I, I, yeah, if that's you have, if, if you, yeah. Exactly. If you have my number, that's a gauge as to where we're at, right? They messaged me. And it was like a generic copy and paste message on Gram, like DM. Hey, uh, uh, I assume you're going to take part in our 30-day challenge, we're going to do sober October, blah, 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 blah. And I was literally messaged back. Of course I'm not because <laughs> I'm no. sober all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm sober all the time. So like, wh- what about it? And then it descended that they tried to recruit me to sell Arbon. Now, probably the most offended I've ever been. <laughs> and the reason that it's the most offensive to me if you're trying to recruit me to sell Arbon, that means that you think you're smarter than me, which is very offensive. <laughs> Number two, right? They have a rough guide as to who my clients are without being a bit size. But if I tried to shop Arbon to any one of my clients, <laughs> <laughs> they would just be like, have you had a stroke? <laughs> All right, so... So even when I very politely said, oh, thank you for the offer, not the for me. right off. Yep. Yeah, yeah, not, not for me. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to talk to you because respect for trying, you know. They come back with, it took me two years to say yes to it as well. And I know that you're a smart businessman, so it won't take you that long. And I was just like, <laughs> motherfucker, <laughs> right? Like, you, you, no, no, simply no. No so, means no, man. Come on. Where if I'm been? honest, if it's, if I'm honest, it took a chunk out of me yesterday because it was just like very, re- very rarely do I get offended because it, it's quite hard to offend me. But that really <laughs> fucking rattled me because it was just like, I, I mean, obviously, you know, you, you, you play the fool a little bit and you have a little bit of a laugh, but like. Mate, you should have brought him around here to see how you went fucking Yoda mode on my computer. This like... man entered the matrix and fixed all my... He's like, type in this. I didn't even know where those fucking buttons listen, were. Man listen, is a genius. You do not get the black coy of compassion <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> so yeah, Arbon recruitment. Very, very upsetting. Um, not, obviously, we're sponsored anyway. So that would be a complete breach and offensive to our Viking Norwegian brothers. <laughs> but Arbon, it's so shit, right? Oh, Work your nuts off, pay your money up the chain, and then we'll yeah. do you a nice rate on a leased white Merc. <laughs> uh. I'm from Essex. It. Listen, I'm from Essex. A white leased Merc is just, a, that's not a reward. That's just, <laughs> that's just a thing. I've got four of them. Outside, don't even pay the lease on them. Anyway, it's been a surprisingly lovely week, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been, it's been a, a, a very, very powerful Namaste-centred week. We're going to start 100% in your homeland. <sighs> Tim Zhu, Jeff Horn. Tim's a bad man, isn't he? He is a bad... Like, I mean, man, that is fucking man crush now purely for taking me back to my childhood of like yeah. when you half close it that's costa like he, he looks, looks he looks so, so much, much like, like him he really really does he looks like the, the i think that he's probably got people around him where are like should we grow out the rats tail yeah. like, no <laughs> that he, he move, i tell you what he's he's not he, he's clearly a lot longer than costa yep. yeah I i've never seen them like side by side but he looks like he's a lot longer he doesn't seem as like thick and the thing yep. that you always yep. saw when when costa fought was that he, he had that triple g thing right triple g doesn't look yeah. shredded until he's like mid pose and then he's got muscles where people don't have muscles right <laughs> yeah, yeah, costa yeah had that right he's he's the only 
fighter I've ever seen, and it was in it was in like the the hat and build up dressing room where he was like loosely shadow boxing, and they were going, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you're just like, mm. but Tim bashed the fuck out of him, <laughs> like, oh, like bad, so bad. In, he had nothing. I, I said, remember, like I was like, I'll go with the heart and go yeah. with Tim, and I thought, you know, he he's coming along well, but at the end of the day. Horn was a massive step up, massive step up, mm. right? Um, I mean, he, I mean, he's, yeah, he's, ex, ex world title list, but well, he has yeah. been in, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I, mean, I mean, that's look, in parentheses, he's, but but he's been on the big stage, right? Yeah, I mean, look, I don't, I, I don't want to like talk shit on him, but it kind of no. kind of is easy to like. He went to the Olympics, fantastic. Beat Randall Bailey, but it was the end Fine. of his career. Yeah, beat Pacquiao. We'll put leave the quote marks on that. Don't even get me started on that one. Um, yeah. He beat Mundine, end of the career. Zarafa in the rematch. He lost to Terence Crawford, Zarafa, and Zoo. But look, he he's been in there with great guys. Yeah, Zoo beat the fuck systematically yeah. too. The it, thing was, it was bad. When it's like he had no answers. He came in, he kept swarming, and like the best shots he got were on the back of his head. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And it's just like even on the inside. Zoo, the thing that really impressed me with Zoo was his composure, the way he stayed calm under pressure, this like onslaught. He looked like he had he had lived through several wars, didn't he? He had that, that steely, like yep. that must be like fucking epigenetics from his dad. Like his dad looked like he, his dad looked like he'd seen simply too much, like the Fedor eyes. Yeah, 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 and um, yeah. it was it was just like he was so un like you said, completely and utterly composed, uh, and everything he did was meticulous, planned. The only I mean he 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 clearly has like good good power. But it oh, doesn't, mate, but it doesn't, he's one of those ones, but it doesn't look like they're big shots. Yeah, right? yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but obviously you're always going to have that comparison to his dad, who was a murderous puncher, but he, he, you know, those were, he was folding him to the body. He mate, was, that sixth round when he put him down with that body shot, like, oh, yeah, delicious. Awful. delicious. Awful. Um, yeah, he was, he was absolutely, like the, the body shot, like you said, in the sixth was yep. vulgar. And it was like early on too, like the third or something. Yeah, that's right. He heard him with that right hand that just mm -hmm. kind of shook him. And then it was that short little shot that put him down. But yep. I mean, Horn was gassed. Early. He just had no he had answers. Nothing. He had nothing. I, I think as well, the, I mean, by, by you know, the, the, the visible part of it, I don't think he expected this. I think he no. got cracked a couple of times and it was like, what the fuck's this? Yep. And then it, it quite clearly, like... I have no idea why you, you wouldn't... I'm obviously, he's a young fighter versus experience, blah, 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 blah. I think that he had, like, his, his whole plan A, B, and C was probably out-man strength, out-muscle, yeah. out-work, out-this. And then, he, Fuck like you said... backfired. Shut down. Shut down he, big. I mean, he ragdolled him as well. Like, Tim was like... Remember when he just, like, yeah. put him down with his shoulders and yeah. fucking not to... He would not be denied. That look... No. Like, and so you could see, like, Horn was taking the backward steps. His mouth was open. Zoo, the couple of times he did get hit, just smile. And that little hop forward that Costa Zoo yeah. had, you know, where they're almost, like, too yeah. excited to get forward. It was just like, Everything, oh, everything, everything was just that, that small lean as well. Just immediately the out of control, uh... too, on the inside. Just, like, cross-facing him. Lovely performance. But, mate, I was on a high watching that. He's a scary dude. He's a scary dude. And, and you know, what's that, 16 and 0 now? Yep. Right. Sixteen and zero. Uh, I mean, he, I, I'm I'm gonna go out and say it. he might be the best of the kids. Mate, honestly, like, like he might he might be. Well, I like, mean, we're gonna talk about a, a rock star named great young up and comer that yeah. also fought on the weekend in a minute. But honestly, we we were even talking about the prospects coming from Oz, and I was like, you know, are they kind of every now and then we get he is mate that performance. Just yeah. he puts him on the scale to me. I'm really, really, really keen to see how his career unfolds. Yeah, likewise. It it was just such a when you see that level of control, like because you can have a good fight and be like, yeah. oh, you know, there's plenty of that was just a fucking masterpiece. That it early really on in the career too, for yeah. that experience level, mate, rate it, yeah. rate it big time. And and with someone that was try, I mean, you know, Jeff Jeff likes using the odd forehead and elbow and things like that, and he was having a go. He was, and I even liked the way Costa started adapting by putting, yeah. the, when the head was coming forward, I was like, uh-uh. Yeah, it was but, like, literally, I've seen it all before, I've done <laughs> yeah. it, I don't care. 
He not controlled bothered. his head and shoulders so well, was turning yep. him, getting him off. Oh, man. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Very interested to see what, what happens with him. And like I said, he, he could very well be the next gen. And that was also for the fucking global title, wasn't it? IBF and WBO. Shout global. out to the global titles. You've got to have global titles. <laughs> I'm all about it. Your boy Chris oh, Congo's got one. Sure. That's it. That's it. Bring them. Glo- Bring them. Global titles of the future. Um, that was Wednesday in Oz. Yes. I mean, funny yes. night to have a big fight, but... Different rules yeah, now, mate, isn't fuck it? it? Lived up to it, isn't it? Jesus yeah. Christ! Like, bring on yeah, them Wednesday yeah. fights if um, they don't look like that. These are the sort of ones where I would love to say to you that I'd put them on the show notes, but the show notes would consist yeah. of moody websites, and I don't want that. If you're going to get pop ups, or it's going to get stripped down, and you're going to get moaned at, whatevs. Right? Yeah, we'll get I'm people sure, hit us up. Yeah, I'm sure if someone DMs, uh, one of us can oblige. Right, um, the weekend. Yes. Where, where do you want to go? Do you want to go UK? Because for me, there's only one really one real fight worth talking about this weekend from the UK, and there's yeah, like I mean, four from the states. Yeah, let, let's get the UK done. I mean, okay. it'll be a pretty quick combo. Okay, Daniel Dubois. Yes. Okay, the only way that Schneider, I believe that's how you say his name, Schneider, Schneider, whatever, could have been more outgunned, is if they shared a brass in the Holiday Inn. <laughs> In the after party together, <laughs> right? Daniel Dubois, right? One hundred percent. Like he has, he like he seems a genuinely lovely boy. He's yep. quite clearly got a lick of the tism, hasn't he? Like he doesn't speak. <laughs> I've never seen him make a single facial gesture. He beat that fucker like that. He stole his crayons <laughs> and his favourite colouring book. He went. He went, Warren, have you seen my baseball? How about that? Right? He gave it that special needs smackdown. <laughs> I might have to ding that one out, innit? <laughs> we might have to get a bing, bing, bing. Um, Jeez, yeah. God. I mean... <laughs> no, no, he, he, he seriously, right? He seriously. When you're dealing with the special needs, I know this firsthand, you have to do something called the caring seas, Right? But you couldn't do the care in seas because Schneider had gloves on, right? <laughs> Dubois came out. He went, nah, nah. I've got angel scotch. I, 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 I got a, a butterscotch angel delight waiting for me. I've got a bag of Haribo. <laughs> Warren pays him in crowns and Haribo. That's why Warren <laughs> loves him up so much. And he just goes, go on, son. Just get it done. Just get it done. Because he's a creeper. Dubois is terrifying. Murderer, right. mate, and it's so young, so, so young. young. Imagine, imagine, like you know for a fact he's probably looked like that since he was fourteen, right? Yeah, you know mate, for a fact like... he's been he's been like hundred and twelve kilos since <laughs> since year eight, right? You got some terrified PE teacher like Daniel. Can you please have a go at <laughs> put the I other mean, kids down? No, it's not even that. In in UK PE, for God knows what reason, they make you do dance. And they're like, Daniel, can you, can, can you please have a little bit of a move about an emote? And he just looks at them and he's going, I don't know what that word means, bruv. Right. Yeah. I'll it, beat the fuck out of you if you want. He, he is, he's something to behold, is, is young Dubois. Um, I don't think that Mr. Joyce, I don't think that Mr. Joyce can handle that. Is, I, I don't, because I don't, he's, he's jab. Looks like somewhere his his jab looks like that thing from No Country for Old Men that that speared spike gun, <laughs> Shun! right? Bro, for such a banger and like of I mean it was there's wasn't many minutes to judge it on, but you know fucking that's it further that's goes it. into his power. Yeah. But he really like it wasn't just he was mean mugging him. He was putting shots together. Well, that jab was fucking amazing. The body shots were like, fuck that. Just seeing it, I was like, no, no, no. You know what the, I Through like the TV the is no as close crowds. as I... Right? The oh, no crowds. The, sh- the sound. It's... The, the, you know what? It sounds like almost like comic book, like, thwack. <laughs> yeah. It's just like... Ugh. Ugh. I mean, respect to Snyder. He got up a few times. Yeah, he did. I mean, fucking for the... More than I would, I'd be like, yeah, oh, you know what? Nah. <laughs> I mean, how much must he have been paid for that? Not enough. It's not enough. It's not <laughs> enough. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna inaugurate Dubois. He cannot not have a piece. Cannot. Oh, man. Yeah. Cannot. Yeah. Right? He's lucky he didn't use it to beat the fuck out of yeah, him. No, no, it, it just it just can't. It can't it can't it simply cannot be the case. Like he's so emotionless, so huge that it's good. all the blood's going there, that's why it's <laughs> Right. This this will be something that probably has to be dinged out. He's one hundred percent got three crowns tucked down his <laughs> right. <laughs> Fact, right? He's got two reds and an orange in there because they taste better. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, let's take us. Let's take us to the the the. Let's go across the pond, please. <laughs> All right. Um, which one? Hey, Martinez. We, yeah, let's do that because that was Martinez. a little surprising eight rounder that just amazing. Fucking hell. Yeah, so um, if anybody missed that, do catch up on it. My, yeah. um, Abram Martinez versus Luis Arcon. They were both, like we were saying before, or you were saying, like to yeah. put undefeated prospects against each other is... Yeah. It's a matchroom move, of, isn't it? It's fight camp. Yeah. And it's proper like COVID, like, you know what? Ideally, we wouldn't have done this, but fuck it. And God love them for doing it. So 8-0 and o with six KOs yep. versus... 10 and 0, I mean, 10 and 0, all 10 knockouts, but yep. um, Arcon had had relatively light competition. Yep. Um, we were talking about the difference in their backgrounds. So mm. Arcon, Venezuelan Olympian in 2016, and Martinez, 150 fights as an amateur, but he's driving himself to them. Yeah, pretty much training himself, himself and training driving himself. himself. Yeah. Respect like, for that, man. Absolutely. Like, sold everything that he has yeah. to get proper coaching. Like, that's a boy yeah. that can't be denied. 100 and, with the man Ismail Salas too. Yeah. Big and, and up he's, respect. He's good. He's Fuck, good. Yeah. He, and he, up so, for it. Yeah. Talking the fight about the ended grins in, in a, between six. Oh, he loved it. Right. It ended in a draw. Probably the most perfect draw. Yep. I've, I've ever seen. Like it was, it's um, up until the very end, Martinez were, ha had it slightly. Right. Second round, he dropped uh, Arocon. Right oh, and dro man. dropped him bad. bad. Because Arcon said, it, like Lennox was talking in round one, like, "Oh, I want to see that check hook of his." Yeah. And then he did it, and it proper like put Martinez back on his heels. On, I was like, "Oh fuck!" And then he swarms, and they got into this epic exchange. Yeah. And then Martinez like, whack that hook. He gave yeah. him one first. It kind of rattled him. Another one put that yeah. exchange was sick. So it he's was. gone down. And they had a few of them. Yeah. All the way through that fight, there was another two in the round after. There was one in round five. There was one in seven. There was one. I mean, it, he, the, 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 the nice thing to watch about Martinez, I mean, the, the, the nicer fighter to watch was, was Arcon, right? Yep. He, he was quick. Everything about him was sharp. He's got lovely posture. He's got lovely poise. He, he, he looks like the, the polished, finished article of a professional fighter. He's fun to watch, right? Keeps everything a little bit too low. And that, yep. that will be addressed 100% after this fight. But he simply wasn't used to anyone resisting, was he? Like, especially... And Martinez was there for it, man. Fuck he really him. was. That's someone that had been drilled in them 150s, right? Amateur fights where he's probably got pounded on a little bit and he's, he's learned really quick. He's got to come back hard, viciously, and at all costs, and maybe steals the exchange because he gets the better of it. And that... It was a great fight. Wicked fight. Um, they said um, Salas for the first month he threw no punches. It was all footwork, and he was like, yeah. "Man, when am I going to start sparring this shit?" They're like, "No, no, yeah. no, no. 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 <laughs> Let's get this sorted first. Great coach. Um, unbelievable. I was a little bit surprised the way he kind of had the reins. I get it that Arcon was a banger, so you don't yeah. want to walk onto a shot. But the fight was very close, and I feel like he almost had the reins on a bit too much yeah, but, in those last rounds. But he um, was right. But, well, you know, yeah, you know like, knocked, knocked down in the end, uh, uh, like he, he, he the final Martinez, second. Yeah, the final second he got knocked down, and that caused it to be a draw on the cards. He was right, you know, yeah. like the, the, a draw is fair, but he was like the, whatever he he saw was in line with the judges, one hundred percent. You know, he got knocked down. It, he he gave that away, which is bad because his story is something that like a PBC yeah. or someone would fucking go mad for, wouldn't they? They bleed that out big. But they are, they're like two young prospects. They were, I doubt they'll match them again until like much later. Yeah, yeah for sure. 
they shelf that till they're both champs, right? And it's the be- like that is the best possible outcome because both of their stock would have gone up massively. Neither of them got the loss, so they're yeah. both they're both good to go. And yeah. with all these bullshit decisions that come, like legit, that was yeah. the one fight. Like we said, it's you could split the rounds exactly down the middle. They both yep. had one knockdown a piece. Yep, you draw perfect decision. I mean, but and and we're talking about them, right? Because yeah. an eight and zero and a ten and zero. Latin fighters or um, Mexican descent fighter for Martinez. Yeah. Like y- you and me ain't going to know them. You know, there, there's a it, powerful respect, absolute respect. Big, um, big watching the well worth a little watch. Uh, should we go Elvis? Oh, mate. So Elvis Rodriguez, give this geezer a two piece that was so vicious that I have it edited cut and chopped and ready for <laughs> corona, corona versus, versus my income, income monday morning edition bank holiday he leveled that geezer just it, it, it was it was hurtful to watch you watch that and again because the crowd noise is gone you heard the snap and the thud and the ref was just like i think that's that then isn't it yeah at least he didn't try to count he was no. just, ah, we're done we're done here no. um you could deck out your next nine Corona versus when yep. it comes with his knockouts. Like yep. everyone is fucking spectacular. The crispest technique you could hope for, ask for. Just such an explosive fighter. Um, so what, going into that, 23 rounds he'd gone in nine fights. So that's a 2.5 round average. And he pretty much stuck to that for this one. Sure. Um, dropped him in the first third round that fucking straight left mate it was grim it's it's an absolute hammer and i think that anyone that gets caught with that is in big trouble big Man trouble can crack because you but, can t- it's not like one of them controlled falls you know where like oh no my, when he puts people i'm surprised there isn't an indentation of their body in the canvas you know he fucks that geezer win his chin tucked and he went back (laughs) and he went back in the corner and slumped in the turnbuckle on the floor. Bad, bad. He gave it the wakey, wakey, nighty, nighty, didn't he? (laughs) Huge. And he's a fun one to watch. Is that young man? And his name's Elvis. Like, how can you hate anyone called Elvis? Winning that life already. Um, What is he, Puerto Rican or Costa Rican? uh, uh, Dominican Republic. Dominican. Word. Um, but yeah, guys, like a lot of fight. If you've missed some of these, really, they are worth checking out because it was a great weekend of fight. Not the biggest names in the world, no. but often that's the way. You know, they're the ones where you see the the good fights. They were, and, and that was quality as well. Um, next one, Lara yes. versus Vendetti. It was a good, like it was, it was a show. Like Lara's been out for a bit. Vendetti, it was his big opportunity. Tough. Mate, he brought it. He, came he brought for it. it. Yeah, fucking hell. He brought it, but it's good. Good luck bringing it against Lara, right? Yeah, exactly. It, it, on, on his on his worst fights, like the the ones on, even on his losses, Canelo razor thin. If you're really 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 conservative and a Canelo fan, Paul Williams I, too. Like what the fuck? Paul, yeah, exactly. Um, the Heard yeah, fight was sick. Jared Heard. That was Jared so Heard, cool. right? Yeah, exactly. So close. Again, I think there's an argument even with a knockdown that he might have turned yeah, Heard yeah. over. Yeah. Right. He's a weird one because he's he's so crafty, so slick, and it, it just it, for some reason when you watch him, you don't think that he has power, but he's got horrible power, and he sits Mate. them down. He, he seems to have like that sub concussive, which is the worst type, right? Damaging every single shot is damaging if he wants it to damage you, but it doesn't like lights out you. It's yep. like oh, it's, punishing. You know, is the number two in the division? He's what is he? WBA regular champion. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah, is yeah, just yeah, yeah. like, oh come on, WBA regular champion, which means that there's a super champion above him that he'll probably never get to fight ever. And if he does, he won't get and, the decision. Yeah, exactly. It's just it's like, the, and to give you guys an idea of his caliber, so he was the captain of the Cuban boxing team, which is fucking. If there's a creme de la creme, wrong. it's the cream on that. Um, yep. He was he was the favorite to win the Olympic gold. But he defected with Rigondeaux the year before that happened, and they got fucking caught. So he got shipped back to Cuba, got the ban from boxing, and then just jumped on a speedboat and the second time got more lucky, which, thank fuck, because we would have been robbed of some amazing fights. 
Imagine and, um, that life. Yeah. Like, because it, it, like pe- people swim that. It's it's so close to Florida. Like you, it's it's amazing. Like imagine being like you probably be able to see it on a clear day. Like you just go to the corner, and I'm sure people are probably pretty happy in Cuba, and I know they've opened it up a lot, and there's still an awful lot of weird shit. And some of the most beastly athletic people on the planet come from Cuba, man. Mate, uh, honestly, Bizarre, right? and listening to um your Romero on the mm-hmm. Rogan podcast talking about how it, it's just like how can you not breed savages like that? Yeah, when you're exactly. living with your opposition, and it may yep. not be in your room, but the next room down, and they might be friends with the guy yep. in your room, so he's telling them everything. And you lose and you get kicked the fuck out. So yeah. you're literally fighting for... That's why I remember in, um, when I was living in China, they would just ask, like, why do you fight? Like, yeah. we, if we win, we get some meat to go with our rice. And if we lose, we don't get the rice. Like, you're not going to... Yeah, you know, with it, with just... this, that's, that's what he said as well, wasn't it? It's like when, when we win, we get extra eggs. Or because yeah, we're yeah. Olympians, our mum gets extra eggs. You're like, well, <laughs> what do you mean extra eggs? How can you, That's how can... what it takes. But how do you fuck with that? How do you fight with that? You know what I mean? The like, most terrifying got... thing is people like him exist in Cuba that have never had a sniff of protein <laughs> or they have like one, <laughs> one egg a week and they are 12 packed out, jacked as anything. <laughs> and just, yeah. Pieced up right. as well. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> They've got the Samba piece out, right? And, and they're just like... They'll, they'll probably defect, come to the West, or either, or either, come to the States, can't really say come to yeah, the West, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're looking at all of us cabbage white dudes <laughs> taking down protein powder and they're just like, <laughs> what are you doing? Fun That's fact, cute. fun fact, check this out. I've got a Cuban story. No way that he listens, but I'm not going to name names anyway, right? I have a friend whose mum divorced their dad, went to Cuba on holiday, come back with a Cuban husband, Boom. He Powerful. was two. He was two years younger than my friend, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a little bit of a surprise. Here's your stepdad, and it, he was he Slash was little he, brother. Hey, hey, hey! He was Cuban, Cuban, right? Cuban, <laughs> Cuban, shirtless in the kitchen making eggs. I had sex on your mother, eh? You call me uncle. <laughs> Can't get over that. No, you, go, you don't get over that, right? That geezer That's still looks where I do. I see him. I still say hello to him. He's, always, he's obviously not with the mum anymore. Or if he does run with the mum, he goes around there, powers it through, gets a little bit of cash and then fucks off, right? But he's always got two young birds on his arm. He's always got a big boy tracksuit on. Respect. Of course he does, mate. Of course he does. Live the living the dream, yeah. I think the only thing he doesn't like is the cold. But other than that, he's always found wow. a bed to warm him up in. Powerful. Um, I don't know what we're, we're talking about. Cubans. It's gone now. Um, oh yeah, Lara. Lara. Um, he, he nailed it, right? He, you could probably give one round to Venedetti. Yeah, I mean, if you're not, like, I mean, it, it, like a comparative sorry. round. Exactly. You give him one for trying. Like it was, it was a, it was, it, it was the opportunity of a lifetime for him. It was, it was a good like standard operation. For, yeah, yeah, exactly. Someone that's going like, to try it. Look, a rusty Lara is still a fucking, you know, th- that's one of the most finely polished fighters you could hope to have. Like, yeah. skill-wise, that guy is just fucking phenomenal. Um, all the people now, th- there is going to be some... It's It's been hard to train, all that sort of yeah. stuff. But And his performance was fantastic. You know, I'm just saying that in, like, general terms because the yeah. opponent, like, I- I'm guessing... A little bit more, he wouldn't have made it to the final bell, but respect no. to him for fucking trying. No, um, Go- uh, Joe Goosen was saying that like when you fight someone like Lara, they've got tricks of which that you don't you don't even understand what they did or yep. how they did it, and they've just got they've got all of them. He even give it the old school, didn't he? he Look down at the floor, like pointed yeah. at his shoe, and thought, <laughs> yeah. "How much of a mug off is that?" <laughs> respect. He just went through the encyclopedia, mate. Yeah, he's, he's like, just oh, like, I'm going to start at the bottom. It. I'm going to start at the easy ones. Let's see where we catch this geezer with. But yeah, like he, he, he dominated. He, he took no risks. I think he got hit twice. He rattled him, like what, Venedetti in like the third round. He yeah. cracked him yeah. with one, one leg came up and started to do a dance on its own. And then he got his shit together again. But Lara's going to Lara, isn't he? Yeah, man. Um, I, listen, I just... I hope he gets the big fight ahead that he deserves and he gets the decisions that he deserves because yeah. 
Yeah, it, it's hard because, I mean, he's only got three losses. And like we said, they're, they're to massive names. But it's yeah. just when you sit back and you watch those fights, you're like, oh, fuck, that record could even change. Same with Hagler, when we're talking yeah. about Hagler. Like, yeah. the few losses that he did have are still quite contested. Yeah. The, um, the fight with Angulo is something to behold. Mm. Right? He got caught big by someone that should never even have caught him. And then he thought, you know what I'll do? I'll bust your face in. And, 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 <laughs> and did. He did. Bad. Yeah, he made him look like a fucking caveman even more so. Like, and he yeah, man. mooshed up that face. Um, he was on the card, Angulo. He was supposed to fight the geezer who turned over Daniel Degal, wasn't he? Truex, Truex, oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they changed that, innit? Was well, that, he got a lick um, of the Rona related? Yeah, That's yeah, he got it. COVID. Yeah. He got COVID and that to bail. And then they brought in the Hernandez and Hernandez turned over. I haven't, to be fair, I haven't watched that fight. It was just yeah. like, it's, it's, it's hard to see someone whose best days was at 154 fighting at 168 and getting yep. turned over by n no one, right? No, yep. no one's ever heard of that Giz. That Giz is a late, late TBC replacement. Yeah. He obviously needs money. It's very sad to see. Yeah, what man. What he's a straight-up soldier, you know? Yeah, animal. Animal. Um, Ramirez versus Postal. Discuss. Mate, so fight. It fucking was. And, like, Postal is another one of those ones where – definitely doesn't get the respect he deserves because mm. man can box. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just that like, it's the way he boxes. Um, Do you know what's weird about the, um, the, 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 I know he's Ukrainian. I'm going to say Soviet as a whole thing because yeah. there's still the legacy of that program, right? You got like the Loma ones, Loma and Usek and those ones. You've got the classic, like the, the Klitschko textbook boxers. Then you got the weird, um, like Postal is one of the weirder ones where he kind of fights like, was it Pirog? Like it, everything is really long and it just doesn't look like it should work, but it does. Yes. And it's like a weird mix of like a long gangly armed Kostya with just weird. It's just, it's just a weird vibe. But there's, yeah. there's like quite a few of them that have been similar to that throughout like the, the, the Yeah, for the history. sure. But like, like really effective you know the, really the thing effective. It's not, to look at like so you watch alone when you get the eye catch forward there's none of that no. but it's still like that jab man it, it controls yeah. fights yeah um and I, I, look he's he stopped matisse anyone that can do that deserves fucking yeah credit um only lost to terence crawford josh taylor and yeah. now ramirez yeah and to be fair that the crawford ones he was winding crawford up like he got yeah. dropped a couple of times by Crawford, but Crawford had the ump with that and it wasn't what he wanted it to be. And he was getting frustrated with him. And it shows like, it's hard to look good against him. Do you know? Like they even Absolutely. said that like Postal is like the ultimate kind of spoiler. He's just, uh, yeah. he's got the little trick. They may not be like groundbreaking to look, but yeah, he's just always not quite there and he interrupting your rhythm and um, yeah, very, very close fight. It was, um, look, Again, with the Rona, you got to feel for these guys. They went through three camps mm -hmm. leading up to this. That that takes its toll, you know. Of course it, it does. It's, not it's not only financially, on. but like you know, there's only so the, the well is only so deep for for professional fighters, right? Yeah. If they fire up and they start camp to the point where they get into sparring after all their S and C and all that stuff, they are taking damage. They are getting hurt, even yeah. e even to a small amount. Then that stops. They heal up. They probably like imagine imagine having to start your job again and again and again, but the consequence like you 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 are fully in one hundred percent or none. It's yep. it's just, it must be exhausting mentally. It must be exhausting emotionally. Let alone the cash, right? Because it's not cheap. How did you see running. it? I had Ramirez winning because I liked his aggression, right? Yep. I liked his aggression. I liked the. The main damage seemed to be Ramirez. Like the, the ones that I saw, oh, he, he he caught him with a couple of like the the step off. There to were the a couple side. where it looks like he was almost sure. on his way out. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I think it would be it it would have been okay to have it a draw. Yeah, I see. I had, draw. I, I had, um, I had Ramirez just edging it. Yeah, a draw wouldn't have been madder. I thought that one sixteen one twelve was a bit of a piss take. Like that, that's what I mean with like exactly. Postal just, like... just doesn't. Re but um, because that clearly then, because Ramirez one hundred percent the more eye catching shots and more um damaging mm. shots by yeah. far were his. Yeah, but Postal was doing his part. Like he was mm. he was chipping away and everything like that. I thought it was very close. Um, 
Yeah, Ramirez slash draw, but I would have gone with Ramirez just because there are a few, like I said, it looked like he was almost out. Um, this is the first instance, right, where where the cue is added on the end of the podcast. Coyotes! He had the new Nike boots on, the, the vigilante wrapping ones, and they don't, look, they don't look bad when they're on, you know? I don't mind them when they're on. Yeah, when the, the pictures, pictures all popped up, I was just like, yeah. well, did someone make this with fucking tissue paper? <laughs> 100% they should have been red and white to match his shorts. I can't be mucking about with red and black and red and white shorts. Like, either make your shorts match your boots or your boots match your shorts. That's the rule, right? Or, or like the fucking um, Martinez fight where they're both like, no, fuck this, where both prospects were both wearing white shorts with gold trim. White and, white and gold, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but they did have different boots on the different gloves. So you, Also, like, why are you wearing fucking black and red gloves for when you're all in white and gold you fucked up son right <laughs> not cute getting a loss not just cute. for that <laughs> yeah fashion police but yeah I, I don't mind them boots now i'm not sure i'm gonna have a little look at the other colors don't need another pair of boots because i've got a lot of them yeah but needs um, and wants mate right now. needs and wants needs and wants like if if we like copper geezer sponsorship or something then maybe we get a pair on the slide yeah yeah <laughs> I like the Reebok ones. I'm all about the Reebok boots. Every, uh, especially in, Big enough, yeah. big enough. Uh, like, I like them. I like the Nike ones. And got to love the Rival ones too, mate. It's sexy. I've not had a pair of the Rival ones. They look all right. You've got a pair, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The all Dees. white ones. Oh, Dees. yeah. I like that I've descended this into fashion. Mm. Yeah, right. The, um, um, I actually prefer, speaking, just staying on that for a sec, the on. cheaper version of the Nike ones, the Matchamize. I like it more than the Hyper KOs. The Hyper KO is that strap, yeah. I feel like, it cuts off circulation to your toes. Like, yeah, I just don't understand. I don't understand what the strap's for. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> I think for some it's... people's feet, it's a game changer. For me, it's like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> is it really? Like, I just, I mean, I had that. I, I had one pair of those, which are, they're still good now. But the, I don't think the strap does it, it very much for me personally. Massey just relentlessly takes a piss out of me. He says it looks like I'm wearing sandals. So, yeah, I saw a pair of um, Vapor Max sandals today. Bad, very, very bad. Very, we'll very add bad. them to our um, uh, Combat and Cuties logo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of, we have big boy T-shirt coming soon. I've messaged a few bad people for screen printers. Bad boys. Um, very rarely does does uh, something that comes out of my head get approved by the streets where he's like, I'm fully up for that. <laughs> and it actually becomes a, a, a realistic thing that gets produced. And I'm like, oh, sick. That You've was orgasmic. Yeah. Orgasmic. Powerful. Um, first merch coming very, very soon. Blup, blup. Blup. Uh, before we're going to go into the news a little bit, yes. we are obliged as we are 38 minutes in. Um, with the kids going back to school next week, Okay, the the level of stress that I've been experiencing with them has been vast. I haven't been able to sleep, and what I've found myself doing at night is basically making dream catchers out of my own pubic hair, um, <laughs> and that's very troubling. And I've also opened up an Etsy to try and sell them, uh, and then and then basically my wife came into the living room and said, "What the f are you doing?" And I'm like, I'm making dream catches out of my own pubes. Like, what would you think I'm doing? She's like, it's four in the morning. You ain't, been, you ain't been a bed yet. And she's like, babe, you haven't taken your CBD oil. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah. That's what it That's is. That's what it was, right? So I put down the pube um, dream catchers, <laughs> just left them on the table, add a little ho, 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 spray, 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 right? And I went straight to sleep. I haven't made a single dream catcher since. Um, <laughs> Xbrain.co.uk. Because they all UK. sold out, that's why. Exactly. Xbrain.co.uk has fantastic CBD oil. It helps with inflammation. It helps with pain management. It helps with sleep. It helps with anxiety. You and me take it for fun. I'm almost out where I'm going to have to have a little word with the Vikings and say, I need more, please. Thank you. Need my fix, uh, man. Yeah. Otherwise, they need to start buying some of those dream catchers because I'm not going to be sleeping so much. Um, <laughs> Xbrain.co.uk and a promo code coffee combat to save 30 percent of all of your x brain branded orders it does not work with combo packs it only works with x brain branded products thank you very much x brain.co.uk cbd oil the king of cbd oil mic drop i need to pause for that right hold on so yeah 
there we are, xbrain.co.uk, standard. They have been our, our ride or die and will be our ride or die. Day ones. Day ones. Um, just because it was the, the most recent addition to the mix, I sent you over the post. There's some absolutely bananas, bonkers MMA card being floating around for the 21st of November on the Tyson Ranch. It's got Vitor. Let's hope proper Vitor. None of this drug tested Vitor. I think it's going to have to be. It has to be, right? And the picture of him had the, the, yeah, the yeah, TRT yeah. face, didn't it? Yeah. Right? Vitor versus um, Wanderlei Silva. What? Right? And then there's Tito Ortiz versus Rashad Evans. Excuse yep. me. And then Fabrizio Vadum versus Fedor Emelianenko. Just the popped up today. They're what a the huge f- name. fuck is going on? Right? So, like, I mean, listen, I've been drooling about the Vandalay vitor rematch because I fucking oh. love Vandalay. Vitor right? flying kicks him and then <laughs> drops a smooth knee on his face. Vandalay's out, right? Vandalay's been done, right? Vitor's, Vitor's still something, especially if he's on the yum-yum, right? How Wait, I... Had, look, listen, the, that first one was depressing. He just stormed across the cage and fucking chain punched the shit out of Vandalay. So yep. I want to scrap and I'm worried this time it ain't going to happen because like, like you said, Vitor is still, especially if he's um, enhanced Vitor, he's not far removed from being oh, yeah, fucking but, yeah, dangerous. Yeah, yeah, but Vandalay will also be on the, on the, the advance. Yeah, but I think it's a little bit too much. I mean... What both of them been KO'd seven times, but it's like Vandalay's were it's different, different, big, and like yeah, different you know, KOs. He, he's fighting he, the when he's going up to heavy to fight Crow Cop. Yeah, even when he's not getting knocked out, he's fighting Mark Hunt. You know, yeah. like not good, a, not not good. Yeah, not good for the old cognition, is it? Going into the the twilight years. Um, Tio Ortiz versus Rashad Evans. I thought Rashad was done, and he's like a vegan now, and he's he's that's that. That's the one that really surprised. Well, that right? and um, I didn't know that Vadum chose not to re-sign with UFC um, because he right. he just had a win. Like he beat you know they, he, he kept doing fight. that stupid face, didn't he? That, that weird face that he kept doing. And Dana went, "Look, we can't have this no more." <laughs> and he went, "Look, I either do the face or I'm not here no more." <laughs> and and Dana just went, "Well, you're not here anymore, then. Bye." All right. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> no loss. Um, Again, Fedor is, is mates with Poots. He is. He, he must just love, he just must love the, the fight, right? Maybe, oh, he, maybe he can't get over losing to Vadum. Who knows? Like, he's one of the ones where it, it's, it's like, it, BJ, I love BJ Penn. Big. Yep. Can't watch him fight anymore. Yeah, now, now I can't, it's like... Ugh. I haven't been able to watch him fight since the second Edgar fight, right? Yeah. The first Edgar fight, whatever, right? That happens. It's Frankie's a G. Yeah. The second one, I haven't been. I'd like I, mm, done. Like you're worth thirty million. He he owns Ruka. Like that's BJ's. Like he's not. He's fine, and he's from a yeah. wealthy family. He and was fine before he started fighting. Well, there you go. Right. He comes from a wealthy family. He made he he made a bunch of money in the fight game as well as went in early on. I mean. I've got Ruka stuff. Do I look like a fucking surfer? No, I do not. <laughs> but I like a bit of Rooks, right? Anyway, um, yeah, um, Fido, we can't, like, I mean, the look, last thing. No, and no, but, I don't want to, like, this is not a disrespect to fighters, but, like, Matt Mitrione would not last no. at all with Fido, let alone now beating him. It's just, like, that's why they're huge names, but a lot of these worry me. Like, I, I worry, because... Vandalay is already starting to show signs um, of the Starting? Traumatic... <laughs> he said he's going to donate his brain to, you know, science when he's gone because, he, like, he literally feels the effects. This is yeah. a big one to sign up for. Like, Vitor ain't fucking around. I don't think they're going to be doing the most stringent of testing like we already discussed. Um, well, it's, on a, it's on a ranch, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah. anytime you see venue, ranch, venue, reservation you're like oh cool. car park sick. yeah sick sick yeah um, the guy might, might be around your weight he might be double your weight oh fuck it we'll see you on the night but there's there's no information about the card other than the the henzo gracie post and the vadoom post there's a few of them they've all posted about it 
Yeah. It's just like nothing, nothing makes sense. November 21st, you got six. I mean, that's soon for such a yeah. big, like they're big names. Right. It's fucking soon. The week before the Tyson the, Jones the, the, the fight. Tyson, yeah, Tyson and Roy. Like I thought it, they could have just slotted that under the undercard and done like the senior tour big time. And just have like you know like when, and when golfers... they put on the thing like plus two special undercard yeah. fights, it's like fucking these are pretty special fights as it is. I tell you what, before I forget, I saw as well that Tiago Alves is fighting Phil Baroni, bare knuckle, bare what knuckle. Yeah, man. Didn't didn't Tiago like Tiago had some significant brain things? I love Tiago. Yeah, like yeah. Tiago's an absolute savage. G. Um, Looks like a he, pit bull, man. Jeez. He does. He does. He's so wide. Like, strangely why, but like, why are they all going to BKB now? Like, they must be offering serious, serious cash. I mean, yeah, I, and I mean, I've got mad love for the BKB, but there's going to be some murders. Like, these guys punching without gloves, fucking hell. Yeah, I, I just don't know how you, um, how you build with legacy done fighters, right? They got, except for Paige. Like, what's Paige doing there? No one wants to see Paige fight bare knuckle. Yeah. Do you want to see Paige fight bare knuckle? I don't. Not yeah, for me. Man. Like, Joanna, yeah. fine. Jenjetchek, the Wicked Witch of the West, fine. <laughs> right? All right. You know she's going to be all right, but Paige doesn't look like a bare-knuckle fighter to me. Like, not even yeah. just purely from a looks. Like, Joanna is, is Thai, and she's a savage. Yeah. Right? Yeah. She's going to drop elbows. She's going to drop... Like, you're in trouble if you attack her. With, with Paige, she just doesn't have that. I mean, she obviously is. She's a professional fighter. She's an animal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, she's savage. But, but I mean, her face, that got cuffed the fuck up. I was amazed how well she came out of that. But yeah, man, like, bare knuckle, that, that's going to be a tough fight. But I mean, I'll be watching. I like um, that there was a little while, wasn't there, when everyone was like, the damage is going to be way less. They're not going to be able to hit as hard. And then they're, they're just, they're just like they've had a fight with a fucking lawnmower. Those, yeah, even, yeah. even the ones we, when we went, right, we saw the, the tornado and yeah. he was moving beautifully. It was like me, you and Jesse were like, hit and st- you why tell- is this geezer? Yeah. Why is he even fighting BKB? Like, and then we turned out that he got his license and all that stuff. He barely got touched. And then when he walked past us, which was a bit strong that they do that, um, past the bar. Okay. <laughs> Again, he had lumps. He had like it and was his just hands, man. His hands were fucked. It was miserable to see that. That's a truly, truly tough way to make a living. That proper tough. The, um, I hope they get paid. Yeah, man. Like Jesus Christ. And um, what what was it? I've gone blank. Jason Knight when he fought um. Oh, why have I gone fucking blank? <laughs> Jason, no, Connor's right. Uh, Artem, Artem. Lobot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Jesus Christ, man, they look like, like you said, like lawnmowers ran over yeah. their faces. Yeah, I mean, like Paulie, Paulie barely got touched. He had a broken hand. He had a yep. dirty, great gash down his his eye. Like yep. he, he was just like, yeah, it's just weird. Whatever. He thought he was just gonna jab, but yeah. Um, Brooke and Crawford apparently is is very late negotiations now. At 147, yeah. which is appalling, and no one, I don't think anyone that's a British Brook fan that wants to see him back at 147, especially against Crawford. Like, that's mate, um, uh, that's what I was, I know, I know you love Brook, like, because I like Brook, uh, but I don't want Crawford, Crawford and at 147, fuck. Like, number one, he, it's so, it must be like, I, I remember reading an interview, I think it was Dom Ingle said that, like, Brook needs 12 weeks to get down to training camp weight for a 147 fight. Right, he's clearly too big to be yeah. at one forty-seven, yeah. and the money didn't even sound like you know one point five mil is one point five mil, but that's dollars. And like, the only thing that you can think is that Crawford absolutely smushed Khan. Is this some sort of weird way to get something back at Khan? It's not a good way to do it, though. No way, man. I, like, what? Just do the Khan fight. I swear they'd make good cash from that still, even though it's so many years too fucking late. Like, yeah, I mean, it's getting it done, though, isn't it? Um, I, I would hope that they don't do it. But Crawford's that ends not, badly, man. Yeah, that ends it does, badly. doesn't it? But it's just like Crawford is, is just, he's just better. 
Like he, he's better at everything, and he's uh, in uh, like this is the most dangerous time to fight him too. Like he yeah. is priming, angry, up. spiteful, strong. You can't wrestle him. You can't out grapple him. You can't really out punch him. He seems to outthink you. He he is as effective in either stance, which is a fucking nightmare. And you know, every, it's just like everything that he does, Brooke does as well, but not as good. And yeah, that's a shame because like you know, Brooke is is a special talent, but Crawford's uh, just more is. special. Yeah, you just struggle to see where you give the advantage to him. Do you know what I mean? Just so. Size? You just say size, right? Yeah, but Brooke's, I mean, Brooke's physically Crawford bigger, but that like. That, yeah, mean. it doesn't it doesn't seem to phase him. Yeah. Um and then Del Boy versus Usek apparently is back in line for the thirty first of October, Halloween. They haven't said anything about where, whether it's a stadium. They, I read something that they might take it international with a site fee, but that's the one that they're really looking to do. And that one is that's a big boy fight. That that's that's Fuck one yes. where the pay per view could be twenty nine ninety nine and I'd be happy to do that. Yeah, mate. It just like it is the perfect fight too for Usyk. You know, like a yeah. good welcome to the heavies. You're gonna get, yep. you're gonna get hit. You're gonna get get hit by someone who hits fucking hard. Yep. And um, giant head, right? Del Boy's yeah. got the simply the biggest head I've ever seen. It's just, it's it's like a fu- It is a fire hydrant of a head, isn't it? It's just enormous. <laughs> Proportionately, Tito's up there, mate. Jesus Christ. Tito's, Tito's got head. a yeah. Well, that's why he's got all them neck problems, isn't it? Carrying around that head. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tito. Um, you know, you would, yeah, I, I, with, with Del Boy, you've got someone that's relentless. He hits hard enough. He doesn't stop. He's getting better and better and better now. He's with Hay and all of those guys. And, you know, he, and he he's holds up for it, man. He's always he's, up for it. Exactly. He's always up for it. And then, but the Usek is, is a vampire. He's, yeah. like, to, to look at, he's the scariest man ever. He's like the little brother from um, Wedding Crashers who wants to play tummy sticks if he did all of the, <laughs> all of the trend, all of the D-bow and all of the test. That's him. And you're just like, mm. it's terrifying. I'm sure he's an absolutely lovely geezer, but like for every one interview where he's got like uh, a little bit of a smile and a joke and he's oh, always he's having he's a fuck about. It. Yeah. <laughs> You've got another one where he's got like a, a, a vampire hunter Van Helsing hat on and he looks truly livid. He's got grey skin. He looks like he hasn't slept for approximately two and a half thousand years and he is livid. He's the most terrifying man in, in all combat sports. Use the CBD. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Try and get some sleep, dude. Right, he's petrifying. Petrifying. Um, I, I've, I think that if should they get that done, that very much so could be our first live one, you know. That oh, could be our yeah. first for YouTube only and we'll have a little look at some T's and C's and see how we get around that. As You just kind of just don't like have that. Don't have it on in the background, right? You just have it muted or something. I don't know, but that one would be a, a good one, and I think that's an Usyk walk away. And I think too, if it's down taking KO. up a small amount of the screen, then it doesn't count. That's why people always put the shit on the background because oh, the, really? it picks up copyright when it's the full thing, and then when you condense it, it like the pixels don't get noticed as the exact same thing. So I think now, you're. Now, I to. was I was thinking about doing it not with a risk and actually just having us two same locale double mics watching the telly and have the cam cam this way. Yeah. Cam just facing us. You can't risk it then. You can't risk it. And then, yeah. Um, I haven't got very much else. No, I mean, it was a big weekend. That's that's the, that's the sweep up of the weekend. I am very impressed with it. Very fun weekend. We were going to do this on Friday, but shit happened and then, and then life happened and then whatever, but we've done it on Sunday night now. And it'll be I mean, ready be for fair, Monday it morning. Out better because we probably wouldn't have covered that um, no. Martinez fight. No. Um, so that was a great addition. The zoo one went even better than we could have hoped, and all the other ones were pretty much as planned. Um, Huge. But yeah, what a fucking Big. weekend. Big. This week we're going to be doing one or two history eps, I think. We got Kuss. Yeah, and then we got. I'm not sure. What, what do you what, what do you think? Should we have a little chat now, live? Live uh, for, for everyone to be a part of. Do you want to do a sweep up Sunday for like, cause Taylor's fighting. There's, it's quite, there's quite a lot going on this weekend coming. Yep. It probably makes more sense to do a, a sweep up and histories, doesn't it? Than, than the other way around. Yeah. 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 That way, that way our, um, our predictions stay on the pause because Flawless. you don't, yeah, you don't risk them going tits up. 
<laughs> Brother Streets, it's been a pleasure. My man, always. Xbrain.co.uk. We'll real soon. Everyone, like, rate, subscribe, review, share with your friends and anyone that you know likes this. We're on YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple iTunes. The more we'll these numbers go up, house yeah. if you want. <laughs> I will state this again. If you know us, if you have Ian's phone number or my phone number and you have not left a review, that is a formal act of war. That's a very it's unfortunate, it's, it's very rude is all I'll say. I take that personally. We can't be having that. Rate, review, subscribe. As of tomorrow, the competition will be closed for the, the two yes. pairs of RS1 gloves. And Get when I say tomorrow, can. it will be close of business Monday evening. This will drop Monday morning for you guys to hear. Get your reviews out. I'm going to give it until the end it's of that week. It's a bank holiday too. Exactly. You, you ain't got no excuses. Time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Xbrain.co.uk, Coffee Combat, peace. Of what? Later.